Hey guys, this is Nash and today I'm going to review a very special ROM called Cosmic OS. Now this ROM is based on AOSP Android 8.1.0 Oreo. And despite of being an AOSP based ROM, this ROM has tons of features and customization. And watch this video till end because I'm going to share with you the benchmarks of this ROM and the battery life I got from this ROM. And also I will show you for which devices this ROM is available for. So this ROM is not rotated just like any other Oreo custom ROM. Now what makes this room special is the simple piece of art from boot animation to these outstanding wallpapers to the beautiful animation. This room's theme is simply amazing and beautiful. And the whole cosmic vibe of this room is really eye pleasing. Now let's talk about features. Obviously you get color theme engine and accent color customization in this room and all of the good things that you get from Oreo itself. But all the magic happens in a tab called Galaxy where all the features and customization are organized properly. From status bar customization where you can relocate your clock and battery and also easily change the icon. Notification drawer customization, the whole layout of quick setting you can change. You can add or remove tiles and it looks cleaner than stock AOSP. You can have on-screen navigation bar or you can have network traffic indicators in your status bar. As far as features are concerned, this room is in direct competition with Resurrection Remix. Here's the thing, if you flash this room, you're definitely going to spend your next 3 hours just customizing your phone. And who doesn't like making their phone unique? That's the point of flashing custom rooms. And also it has system app remover and wake lock blocker so you can save your battery life. This room is fantastic despite of so many features, super stable, no lags and no reboots. The RAM management is excellent, sure it's a little slow in charging but I just showed you in previous video that how you can fix slow charging in Redmi Note 4 and many other devices. If you want to watch that video just click the i button. And guys, I have personally tested Magisk, Exposed and Substrum theme engine is working properly in this room. So just don't worry about that. The battery life on this room is decent. I got almost 7 hours of screen on time and the standby time is also good if you keep your phone 100% at the night and when you wake up, it will be around 98-97%. to 97%. And also the phone doesn't overheat while playing games. I would personally like to say thank you to developers for that. So if you are the kind of guy who just want to flash one room and then never want to flash anything again, then you should flash this room. This room is super smooth, there is no graphic glitches or there is no frame drops while playing games. And for performance, let's have a look at Geek Benchmark and N22 Benchmark score. And apart from Redmi Note 4, this is the list of devices supported by this ROM. Now let's talk about camera. It has modified Google camera. I won't say it has a portrait mode but very similar feature. For example, just have a look at this image. The background is blurred but the main object is sharp and clear. So those are the good things and everything is good. So what's not good in this room? Well, there is no OT update. But still I'm going to give this room 4.8 out of 5. This is a fantastic room and a must flash room. If you haven't tried it, you must try this room at least once. I hope you enjoyed this video and you like what I do on this channel. If you do, don't forget to like this video. This is your friend Nas signing out and I will see you tomorrow. Ooh.